It's noon time here at Sworn Nation on a Wednesday. Time to show you guys the next stuff that we're going to be putting up on the catacombs. God, it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday everybody, we made it, we got another week, got another week, out of our hair, Jay Taylor, welcome to the first person on the show, thank you, thank you, thank you, how was your Wednesday so far, how's the week treating you, is it treating you good man, I hope so. Boom, boop, boop, doo, boop, 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 Who else we got joining us today? Come on, all, don't be shy. I got some fun stuff for you guys today. Actually, over at the catacombs. Busy? Good. Is it keeping you out of trouble, or are you just wanting to get into more trouble, Jay? That's the real question. How much trouble are you going to get in this weekend? It's Halloween. Of course, it's during a weird time, but are you ready to be zany? Sitting at work. You know what? Maybe I should do like a uh, calisthenics things just to get us all pumped because it's Wednesday at noon. Um, but I don't know if you guys want to see me jumping around um, with my sombrero. I think it would go everywhere and it would be total, total chaos. So, hey, Ace, I was just thinking about you the other day, man. How are you doing up in uh, Utah? Yeah, come on, people like Jimmy Coffin said, let's get zany. It's going to be Halloween weekend. We're here at HQ. You're here on Sworn Nation with us. <laughs> it's going to be the best Halloween this year can offer because we're going to be doing things all together, having fun. Um, I'm planning to do some weird stuff uh, with the niece and nephews. Uh, since we won't be taking them trick-or-treating, we're going to try to find maybe some fun activities around the house. Uh, you know, some constructors, something we can all do as a family, something we can do that's fun. So let me show you guys some of the stuff. Uh, I have up on the catacombs since uh, eBay wanted to be a bunch of crybabies and uh, anything that's risque or anything that's naughty or even the terminology. I even heard from a friend of mine that had an eBay listing of a film that was from Serbia. He found out it's very expensive so he put it on eBay and uh, they took it down because of what the content inside his description said. And he didn't use foul language, he actually copied and pasted something that was already previously used for that item that it already sold. So, I don't know what's going on at eBay, but it's definitely not the Wild West like it used to be. So, I want to show you guys a couple things that I would have put on there, but they're not going to let me. And I'm not going to play by their rules. This is why I'm bringing them here at the Coffin Comic Shop. Just click on the catacombs. So, let's start it off. Digging through some stuff. This is all going to be scratch and dent, naughty and risque stuff. I have a Lady Death Chaos Rules Lady Mummy Edition by the always amazing David Harrigan. This one is signed with the COA. I only have one of these guys, gals. Mostly going to be onesies, but I did get some stock up there. Another onesie item I have, swimsuit. Sun K, Naughty Edition. It's the only one I have. It's right there. Eric Hart, how are you? Everything went well. Thank you for reaching out to me um, yesterday to take care of your issue. I uh, hope everything got taken care of promptly. Um, so please let me know. And it's good to see you. Another very cool thing. Uh, and I know you guys, this is probably already sold. Uh, Unholy Ruin Naughty Chase Edition. This is a crimson cover. These are scratch and dent. They are sold as is. Really good prices on a lot of these items. And I only have one of each pretty much of everything. It's all I got. This one would have surprised me because I, I was just like, wow, they're going to take it down just for the word naughty. But I have a Malevolent Decimation, number one. Evil and Naughty Lenticular cover that is signed. I like that. I don't know if it shows up well on camera, the lenticularness. Well, yep, you can see the lace go and come back. Lace go and come back. Sexy, sexy, beautiful. I really love these lenticular covers. I'm glad we've added it to our arsenal for uh, Kickstarter. And speaking of uh, 
peaking. Speaking of Kickstarter, wow. Be, 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 be. We have added two more items to the Hell Witch Kickstarter for the mid-campaign infusion. Jump on it. There's only, what, 99 serial numbered items available. Get them. I already was getting a lot of messages before I came on here to the show. I was helping out on Kickstarter, which I'll be doing right after this. Um, helping with the uh, new infusion for the newest uh, additions we put out. Uh, one is the Menage a Trois, and um, I forgot the name of the other one. But get them. They're going to go quick. Uh, I know mystery envelopes are still flying, so if you guys have been debating about the Hellwitch Kickstarter, don't debate. We are going to start selling out of items. Things are going quick, so get there. Click where you want. Adjust your uh, a pledge. Reach out to us, we'll get it documented, and get you taken care of. Next up that I have, I always love this image, this always makes me laugh. It's, what more can you say? It's a vault copy, it is damaged, it's a number five. This is the Merciless Onslaught Lady Zombie Naughty Hollow Foil Edition. Number five. Wow, that looks pretty right here in this light. and it brings out that hollow foil even more. So get it while I got it. This is the only one I have. Another very beautiful item. Lady Death Naughty Zodiac. I only have the one left. These are all scratch and dent. They are really good reader copies, loaner copies. Say you've always wanted an edition, but it's like, ah, I just can't afford the price. Well, I got some of this stuff on scratch and dent. Very well priced. And it's great um, for those collectors that are like, ah, well, yeah, I want it. It's good price. It is, is as is, so there is no returns on these. Uh, oh, thank you, Eric. <laughs> they Everything on the catacombs that I do the show go live at noon, Eric. And then same time, uh, about 4 p.m., catacomb items go live on Mondays. So any of you who are interested, when I go live... The comic gods go bing, and they are alive on the stock shop. Let's see what else I got. Oh, Ace, you just saying some pretty words there, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dude, Mendoza's stuff, Jay, is absolutely mind-blowingly fun. Um, some people get uh, his style and get the humor he throws into it. Some people don't. Um, but I see a lot of his work and it, I just shake my head and laugh and just say, oh, Mendoza. That's a total Mendoza. So yeah, I agree. Uh, Mendoza does some really fun work. Uh, his stuff is beautiful, sexy, and just very humorous. And I really enjoy his stuff. So all you Mendoza fans out there, there it is. I got one. It's a vault. It's a number five. Like I say, scratch and dent, but hey, it's great value, and it's still a wonderful book to have in your collection. Next up, I have a La Muerta Retribution Naughty Rockabilly Mama Z Edition. And also, just because these are scratch and dent, guys, I believe they should all be put in fresh bags and boards for everyone, because a purchase is a purchase is a purchase, and I want to make sure when I, when I books get shipped out to you, they're in a nice, fresh, clean bag and board, and as beautiful as possible, so... Try to keep my eye on that and keep on top of it. Another thing I found, and I was really excited. I only have one. This is Lady Death Naughtier. This is the Don McTague cover. This is a scratch and dent. Let's see. It's got a little ding right there. It's the only one I can find anywhere at HQ. This is it. This is the final copy of the Don McTague cover. Got a good price on it, so scoop it up. Another cool thing I found for y'all, I also got some Ebass cover knot ears. I think I have about 15 or so on the store for scratch and dent. These are in the catacombs. Pick them up, pick them up. You'll start to see some scratch and dent on stuff that eBay's too, too afraid someone's going to be upset by terminology. So I'm bringing it here for you. Pick it up. Get them while you got them. There you go, Ebass, Nadir, hardcover art book. 
I got about 15 on the store right now and the catacombs are a very good price. I highly recommend picking it up. Another very cool item. So this thing is going to be scratch and dent naughty, but they're still pretty. Still beautiful books because that's what we make. Lots of beauty. I have the La Muerta Ascension Naughty Edition. This was limited to 250 Genevieve uh, Broomhall is the artist. This is really stunning, guys. I've got about four or five of these on the store. Scratch and dent. Catacombs. Very good prices, guys. Really good deals. Really good deals. Say if you, you know, if the money's tight, I'll hook you up with these copies. Make sure there's a little something for everyone. Another La Muerta Ascension. This is the Naughty Mama Z. This was limited to 150 These are scratch and dents. Mike DeBalfo knocking it out of the park again and again. He's the artist who just keeps giving. Just like all our artists. All the artists that work here at Coffin just do amazing work. And they really bust their butts for you fans. Let's see what we got here. You had a little snow. We were supposed to get a little rain out here this past weekend. And it just, as soon as it hit the city, just dissipated and went away. I was very sad and depressed. I was hoping to dance a little jig in my boxers out front of my house, um, maybe freak out the neighbors, uh, but it didn't happen and I didn't get to do it. And now I'm sad, hooligan. Oh well, when it rains, I'll dance a little jig in my underwear some other time. Oh well, I like to dance jigs in the rain. Maybe we could do a whole splash dance cover for y'all. Splash. Anyways, enough of my tomfoolery. Another very, very happy I could present this to you guys since Ebays are going to be crybabies now. Lady Death, Blast the Anthem. This is a Naughty Lady Satanist edition. This is the book that first got me noticing, why are you taking my stuff down and why are you telling me cease and desist and say this is all, you know, pornographic stuff. It's like, um, I, I don't see that as very pornographic, but, you know, some people, you know, Whatever floats your boat. That's all I'm saying. These are limited to 400. I have about 8 to 10 right now in the catacombs. Scratch and dent. Very good price. Price to move. Great copies. Good loaners. Good readers. Another couple. Uh, these two I have. These are really cool. This was just a, a find I, I ran across. Um... Just going through stuff, trying to find things for the catacomb, and <laughs> these pop up. I'm like, what the heck? They had a sticky tab on them. Lady Death Nadier, Monty Moore Remark inside. So I was like, okay, well, let's take a gander. And sure as heck, there, there is two of these Nadier editions. With a Monty Moore remark. Well, I put them back in the catacombs. They are now live and for you to pick up. Say, I only have two. I found two of these. I hope I can find more. But as it's looking, uh, so far just two. So if you guys are loving Monty Moore and you wanted a Lady Death Naughtier E-Bass cover, well, that was a little extra enticing. These two copies are remarked by Monty Moore. It's a very fun find. It's actually quite exciting. Um, when we did the uh, con, the Emerald Con at home, uh, I was very lucky enough to uh, do an interview with Monty Moore, one hour selling session uh, promoting his stuff. And um, I have to say, um, I was a little nervous, at, you know, very little interactions with Monty, just, you know, helping when he comes in with Kickstarters or, or he's signing stuff or anything he's doing with Brian, I see him. Um, but what a very talented artist he is all around. A guy does a little bit of everything and he does it really, really good. Um, so I had a pleasant time interviewing him. I can't wait till everything gets back to normal and maybe I can sit down with him again and do another little quasi interview, but, um, Really, really heck of a talented man. 
amazing artists, and I'm so happy I could find these two for you guys. Also, on the eBay store, I do have a couple of Monty's art books, um, and those have Lady Death remarks in them as well. So, last but definitely not least, slowly I start revealing the beauties. What about a 9.8 Lady Death Wicked Ways signed by Don McTigg? I only got the one. That is all I have is the one. These are all stuff you will find at the catacombs. This is the scratch and dent stuff. These are all the naughty or risque editions. Uh, eBay would not uh, let me put them on there, but um, I like showing pictures of what the art looks like, not like these little nasty Polaroid things and then you click on it and that's too much work if you want to pick up a book. So, I'm bringing them here. These are all for you. Snagged from the clutches of eBay. I brought them home to Coffin Comics and for you guys. So, check them out. Take a look. I also going to see who else is on there. Who do we got here? Jay? Yeah, very nice guy, Jay. Um, I, I got to say, I, I had a hell of a great time interviewing him. Um, and I can't wait to do it again. Uh, Monty is a hell of a talented person and a really fun guy to interview. Just a lot of fun. Um, every interaction I've had with him has just been a pleasure. Um, same with David Harry, wonderful man. Um, he helped me out set up something at the booth uh, in Tucson last year. Um, just a very great guy. Um, you'll notice uh, all the artists that work for us are just groovy, cool people that you want to hang out with because they're just that cool. So we, uh, we really try to bring out the best in all of them and I think it shows in the work. So I'm going to show you guys some of the really cool things that's going on at the Hell Witch Kickstarter. It is uh, blowing up. Do a quick scan of this stuff. Look at this. 9.8 signature series. I only have the one. This is it. Wicked Ways. Signed by Dawn. And it is an artist proof too. AP3 on that one. AP3. It's an artist proof. So that's probably the last one we'll offer unless I run across more. There's some of the Monty Moores with the remarks. So get it guys. Most of this stuff I only have onesies of. I was able to get some stock, you know, a couple things with double digits, but get it. Um, already the catacombs have been pillaged. Probably uh, more than half of the stuff we had originally is going. Doug Cook, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Get some light on in here. We, do, we did a couple cauldrons uh, this week for everybody. Um, in case anyone is wondering what the cauldron is, what we do is we take all the backers um, for Hell Witch Sacrilegious we take their numbers, put them on a raffle ticket, put them in the cauldron, which is hidden. Oh, nope, it's right here, boom. You put your number in the cauldron, you'll stir the pot, call out your numbers, and you will be getting tipped in and received in your order either a Hellwitch Violet Ash Can, the Hellwitch Sacrilegious Lemon Ash Can, or, this thing is so stunning, this is the uh, Hell Witch Hollow Foil Ash Can, and it looks like there is only going to be 25 of that. So, that is what we're just, you know, hey, we pulled your number. Thank you for backing us. We're going to just put that right there in your order. That's amazing, guys. That's amazing. But not only that, you also get a chance of possibly winning a vault item book. That's also on here. So, keep your eyes open. Look at that. Vault item, we're giving it away. Put it in your order. You back this, then we're gonna give you something. If we pull that number of yours, we're gonna give you a little something extra. Who does that? Coffin Comics do. That's what we're all about. So here's some of the most amazingly beautiful Hell Witch sacrilegious books that are available on Kickstarter. Hi Justin Hunt. 
do a nice, slow, beautiful pan. These are our mock-ups. Um, some of these we will offer up for sale at later dates. Here's the Mendoza three pack. Again, very hilarious. Right over here is the metallic card sets. Beautiful as always. I love these metallic cards. If anyone um, is a, knows a big card collector and they don't have any metal cards, you should show these to them. I think they will flip their lids because it's, it's mind blowing. Um, these are actual sizes of a regular trading card. So it's something you can put in those sleeves, nine pocket sleeves or individual card sleeves. Heck, we even get a little frame and hang these suckers on the wall because these are beauties. Very beautiful and very limited. I think we do anywhere from like 100 to 199 on average of most metal cards. So here's some of the 11 by 17 prints we're offering for Hellwitch Sacrilegious. This is the third chapter of the Hellwitch Saga. The homage, I love that homage, that's great. And if you're not familiar, we do have the two previous chapters available here at Coffin Comics. So um, if you're not you're curious about Hell Witch? Well, heck, jump on and get yourself Chapter 1, Hell Witch, Hellborn. Chapter 2, Hell Witch, The Forsaken. And then back is for Chapter 3, Hell Witch, Chapter 3, Sacrilegious. Here's some of the, look at, this is uh, the free bonus items we offer. They're black and white copy edition. We have the little mini risque comic. <laughs> Pog sets. Pog sets, oh my god, that really blew my mind. I mean, we're just bringing back all the fun stuff that uh, that comics are all about, about comic collecting, just always fun. Here's some of the mystery envelope items. Now, mystery envelope items um, are very limited. I've seen some as low as 10 copies printed um, and some as high as like 40 maybe 50 max but look at all this beauty just look at that mystery envelopes guys these are very popular not only that we'll randomly toss in other things like maybe a publisher file copy maybe an artist proof maybe a bp edition you never know we always try to keep you guys on your toes and if anyone missed out uh monday was the um Ending of the offering of the Hollow uh, Fiend exclusives, which were all coffin-shaped books. There was a Hell Witch Gallery, Naughty and Nice. There is the 11 by 17 prints as well. There will be two metal editions, one Hell Witch, one Lady Death. And over here is the Lady Death coffin-shaped editions. This is really cool, guys. Great stuff. This is really awesome. I'm, uh, when Brian was telling us about this, I was just floored. Because I thought it was going to be like the Evil Ernie, um, the Resurrection cover, I believe it was. But anyways, uh, no, he actually cut the book into the shape of a coffin. So nothing folds out. This is how it's cut. This is how the book will look. Just awesome. Just thinking out of the box, trying to, you know, show you guys that, hey, we're always doing things new and keeping you all excited. And then, of course, this is the most recent homage we are offering, or we offered on Monday. All orders needed to be in at Monday at 5 p.m. So check out these great weekend exclusives that we throw out there. Sometimes we're throwing out some pretty unique ideas along with really neat products. I need to figure out a name for that rat. <laughs> I actually really like that guy being a mascot. Here's some other additions. There's the Risqué hardcover. This is the homage, followed by a jewel edition, hollow foil, and that beautiful thing. This is the, uh, the metal cover. See my sombrero it takes off all, all the little things. Beautiful. I cannot wait to make these and get them shipped out to you guys. These things are going to be gorgeous. Look at this. This is a stunning metal cover. This is all items that are on the Hellwitch Sacrilegious Kickstarter. Look at, Look at all that foil. You can receive one of those just by backing us. 
put your number on a ticket, throw it in the cauldron, bing, bang, boom, we pull your number, boom, that's going to get tipped into your order. Beautiful stuff. Let's head on back to the boutique. Give me a nice little scan of HQ. It's kind of quiet these days. We got it all gussied up for Halloween, by the way. Moonshine Mel did an amazing job decorating HQ. I wish we didn't have to take it down. I wish we could keep them up forever. Man, I swear, I'm gonna give myself a whiplash. <laughs> With my sombrero today. Keep bumping into everything. Hello, hello. Let's get this locked into place. So again, guys, this is all stuff you're going to find at the catalog. Let me take off my, my little mascot hat here. Woo! Things gets hot. Okay, got five minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. Um, Message me if um, there's anything you want signed at all. I'm sure you can um, note that in your order, but you know, also on eBay orders, I'm more than happy to lay your books out for Brian. If uh, you place anything um, on eBay, I will totally get it laid out for you. You just gotta let me know and put it in the notes section of your order. And that goes with anything here at Coffin Comics. Brian is more than happy to sign anything you purchase from the store. It's free and it comes with the CLA. Let me see if there's any question. You know, so I want to say something real quick, guys. Um, this has been a, a really fun month. Um, October is probably my favorite month of the year. Um, it's finally cooling off here, so it feels like fall as much as you can get fall uh, here in Arizona. Um, but it's been really fun uh, doing this catacomb show. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I'm glad you guys have embraced it, and thank you very much. For checking out the stuff um, I put on there, um, all the wonderful messages I get from you guys. Uh, hey, Carmen, how are you? Hi, um, Ace. That's too cold. Okay, um, you're making me freeze here. Wow, 47. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I, I just want to say this has been a really good month. Um, I was really angry about uh, the whole eBay thing, and uh, it fired me up. And then I thought about um, you guys, and I'm just glad you guys are enjoying um, what we're doing here. And again, we're always proud to be here for you. And a lot of you have uh, said some really kind words and have just really said some very touching things um, that I think people should hear. And it's really amazing. And I am very blessed to be here and work with and for you guys. So thank you very much. I'm going to wrap things up. This is the Catacombs for uh, the last episode for October. November, I'll be putting up some more stuff. Uh, and of course, there'll be some uh, interesting surprises here and there. Some really interesting onesies I'm running across. Just got to figure out uh, how to present it and make sure we can get it packed and shipped to you guys. So... I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you. Thank you very much, guys. Hell Witch Chapter 3 Sacrilegious Kickstarter is going gangbusters. I invite you to check it out. If you haven't already, invite your friends, invite your families, invite your enemies. We're Coffin Comics. We're here for you. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.